The Stuart period, spanning from 1603 to 1714, was a time of significant political, social and cultural changes in Britain. This era was marked by the reigns of James I, Charles I, the Commonwealth period under Oliver Cromwell, and then the Restoration, with the reigns of Charles II, James II, William and Mary, and lastly, Queen Anne. Stuart fashion reflects the complexities of the period, showcasing influences from political turbulence, foreign trade, and evolving societal norms. This video will look into the distinctive features of Stuart fashion, exploring its evolution, key elements, and the social and cultural factors that shaped it. The early Stuart period began with the reign of James I from 1603. Fashion during this time was characterized by a continuation of Elizabethan styles, but with a gradual move towards more relaxed and elaborate designs. Men's fashion included doublets, cloaks and hose, which were separate garments for each leg, requiring a tunic or a codpiece to cover the private parts. Clothing at this time was often richly embroidered and adorned with lace. Women's fashion featured high-waisted gowns with elaborate ruffs and wide sleeves. The influence of the Renaissance was still strongly reflected in the opulent fabrics and intricate detailing. A fashion saw a shift during the reign of Charles I towards greater elegance and refinement. The doublet became more fitted and breeches replaced hose for men as they were sewn together as a single piece of clothing. Women's gowns evolved to feature lower necklines and fuller skirts, often supported by wearing farthingales or bum rolls underneath. The influence of the court of Louis XIII of France was evident, with softer silhouettes and lighter fabrics becoming popular. The English Civil War between 1642 and 1651 had a profound impact on fashion. The austerity of the Puritans contrasted sharply with the extravagance of the Royalists. Puritan fashion was marked by its simplicity and sombre colours, while the Royalists maintained a preference for luxurious fabrics and elaborate designs. This period also saw the introduction of more practical and functional clothing due to the demands of warfare. The Puritan rule under Oliver Cromwell enforced a strict dress code that emphasised modesty and simplicity. Bright colours, lavish fabrics and elaborate decorations were not permitted. Men's fashion included plain doublets and breeches, while women's styles consisted of simple gowns and aprons. However, despite the official stance against extravagance, there was still a market for luxury goods. Smuggling and underground markets flourished, allowing those with means to acquire forbidden luxury items. This period saw a tension between the official Puritan austerity and the covert desire for opulence. Fortunately for fashion, the Restoration came along in 1660 after Charles II was invited back to the English throne by Parliament. This brought about a dramatic shift in fashion and the court of Charles II became known for its decadence and flamboyance, influenced heavily by French styles. Men's fashion saw the introduction of the three-piece suit, consisting of a coat, waistcoat and breeches. Women's fashion featured low-cut bodices, elaborate hairstyles and luxurious fabrics such as silk and satin. The Restoration period was marked by an increase in foreign trade, bringing new fabrics and styles to Britain. The importation of Indian cotton, Chinese silks and other exotic materials influenced fashion significantly. This period also saw the introduction of the periwig, a large elaborate wig that became a symbol of status and wealth. Fashion during the Restoration was also a means of political expression. The lavishness of royalist fashion was a statement against the austerity of the Puritan regime. The rivalry between the Whigs and Tories was reflected in their differing styles, with the Whigs favouring more modern and extravagant clothing, while the Tories preferred traditional and conservative styles. The choice of fabrics and materials was a crucial aspect of Stuart fashion. Wealth and status were often displayed through the use of luxurious materials such as silk, velvet and lace. The importation of new fabrics during the Restoration added variety and richness to the fashion of the period. Colour also played a significant role in Stuart fashion. The early Stuart period favoured dark, rich colours, while the Restoration saw a preference for brighter and more varied hues. Patterns, including stripes, florals and geometric designs, became increasingly popular, influenced by foreign imports and changing tastes. Accessories were essential to complete the Stuart look. 
For men, items such as gloves, hats and cravats were important, while women adorned themselves with jewellery, fans and elaborate headpieces. The use of lace, ribbons and embroidery added a decorative touch to both men's and women's clothing. Fashion was a clear indicator of social class during the Stuart period. The wealthy elite could afford the latest styles and finest materials, while the lower classes wore simpler, more practical clothing. Sumptuary laws, which were laws that were designed to restrict excessive personal spending in the interest of preventing extravagance and luxury, attempted to regulate what different classes could wear, but these were often ignored or circumvented. The theatre and masquerades had a notable influence on Stuart fashion. Costumes used in theatrical productions often set new trends, and masquerade balls allowed for more extravagant and imaginative attire. The blending of theatrical elements into everyday fashion reflected the era's fascination with spectacle and display. Gender also played a significant role in fashion, with distinct differences in clothing for men and women. Men's fashion emphasised status and power, while women's fashion highlighted beauty and femininity. Stuart fashion was a reflection of the dynamic and often turbulent nature of 17th century Britain. From the opulence of the early Stuart period to the austerity of the Puritan era and the flamboyance of the Restoration, fashion evolved in response to political, social and cultural changes. The amazing diversity of Stuart fashion offers a glimpse into the values, aspirations and everyday life of the people who lived through this fascinating century. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified of our next video. Join us next time where we'll be diving into more fascinating events from history.